So this is the Creality Ender 3 V3 Plus, a Core X Z3D printer with a bigger print volume than the normal standard V3. Well, this 3D printer was announced last year in 2024 and I had it for several months. But what do I think about it? Because I have used it quite a lot, but never came to a, you know, review about it. So let's dive right in and let's see what I think about this amazing 3D printer. Did I already spoil the beans? Beans? Whatever. Let's dive right in. Hey, Zach here and welcome to this video. And as you can see, this is the Creality and the 3 V3 Plus, a bigger Core X Z than the V3. Yes, I know it sounds like crazy, but it is crazy. With a printing volume of 300 times 300 times, I think 320, you can print big stuff on it that you cannot do with your normal Creality and the 3 or V3 or some of the <clears throat> other 3D printers you can print big and also about the speed the speed is fast on this machine like i cannot mention it i will let editing zach here it's going fast it's it's nice to see and also thinking about it when i was doing the live stream i i i named this 3d printer taylor swift shake it baby shake it up shake it. do you hear also that uh, taylor swift song i think I i'm going to call this printer taylor swift but not everybody liked that. It was more like the reference of shaking with my desk. Now that sounds weird, eh? Because this 3D printer was shaking my desk that much, I, I made a little joke out of it and I said, hey, it's Taylor Swift. But I only hear the music on the radio, if I listen to radio. But people, would, people were saying like, oh, you are a Taylor Swift simp. No, I am not. I'm just, because it was a little joke, okay? Yeah, nice. So this 3D printer, it's a nice 3D printer. There are some goods, there are some bads, and there are some uglies. Well, let's start with the mm, good. This is, of course, like mentioned, a bigger print for you. You can print helmets on it. You can print some amazing cosplay without compromising the size. Like 300 times 300 times 320, you can print like full helmets on it. Since I'm always slow on filament and always looking for filament, it's, uh, it's for me a no-go, but I print some other cool, amazing things on this 3D printer. And of course, during this whole video, you will see several prints that I did do on this 3D printer. I have printed mainly only PLA, so far as I know, PLA on this machine, because most of the time, PLA is for my uh, purpose more than sufficient enough. Since I have a lot of 3D printers, and now basically in my new studio, welcome to the Zagary 3D Prints Fanatic, I print also Peggy ABS. I didn't really go to uh, nylon carbon fiber. Maybe I should do that. But I've got here other machines that are well capable of printing the other type of materials. This is an open 3D printer. Yes, I do print in PETG as well. I can do that if you would like to. But this printer does run PLA amazingly. I did get some amazing printer results out of it. And without thinking, I did send quite a lot to this 3D printer. I printed a huge red dragon on it uh, with, with some uh, organic supports. I think the slicer that I used was Creality Print or maybe Orca Slicer because now you have several other slicers that you can use with this Creality and the 3 V3 Plus. You are not bind to use their slicer software. However, if you are choosing for it to send prints from your phone directly to a printer, then you need to register for Creality Cloud, which I made a video about how to do that, and then binding this 3D printer to Creality Cloud. However, I did not do it with this 3D printer. I sent everything over using the web interface because once you are entering the IP address, you can send the print over via the normal clipper kind of method. So drag and drop, or just click on the plus button if you are in their web interface of this 3D printer. So I wish Creality put more time and efforts in it to make more profiles, not only for their slicer, their slicer, but also like Prusa Slicer, Orca Slicer. I know that Orca Slicer have several uh, profiles for Creality machines as well. I don't know, I don't know if Creality did that or some other users did that. So it makes it more versatile. I'm using mainly Orca Slicer for this 3D printer and it runs fine, no problem whatsoever. Direct drive, there is a Bowden tube here, but it's just for guidance as a reverse Bowden tube setup. But I do need to highlight one thing, and that's the bad and the ugly. The bad is that it comes with a standard um, removable display, sort of. Because during one of the uh, videos or one of the <sighs> use cases, um, one of the pins right here broke off. Just I just pushed it right in there. Maybe maybe I just was too strong for that. I don't I don't know exactly what happened, but. Um, <laughs> so, um, um, 
<laughs> anyways yeah it broke off because it is made out of plastic i was really hoping that they find a different kind of system in order to attach the screen on their printer i think the quality high and the high combo is using a different kind of setup which makes it a little bit better I don't have a co uh, the high combo, but I do have this 3D printer. The other thing that I don't like about this 3D printer is the filament spool holder. They have this standard Creality uh, kind of spool holder sticking way far out. Um, cool, fine, no problem. But there is this little thing, like I think it's a filament brake, E-brake or F-brake instead of E-brake. I don't know what it exactly does. Does it guide the filament? Not really, because I had two or three times that the filament got stuck underneath that thing. Uh, also, it's not preventing that if, for example, you have loaded up filament and it is going all the way up, it drags the filament out, then it does do the click, click, click se sequence and then it going back down. You know what happens? You have this much of filament that is going nowhere. And if you have it just like they have here, just here, you know what happens? Exactly. It, uh, <laughs> it can go nowhere. And in my case, it even got stuck behind this here. I got a failed print, at not really a clock nozzle, but an extrusion. So my way of setting it up was like this. And then where's the filament spool holder where you need one? This video is not sponsored by Polymaker. This is a nice teal Polymaker ABS. It's going to be for a special project together with dark space gray ABS. It's going to be for a special project. I bought it with my own money, but check out the link in the description for your filaments of Polymaker. So what I'm doing, I have this bearing loaded filament spool holder and just set it right here and then let the filament go in that direction. Now with my new studio setup, I can look for a place to put this 3D printer there and let it run a few prints. Because this 3D printer is, is nice, it's cool, it's amazing. Things like the filament spool holder placement. There is a file on the drive that you can print, have it sitting all the way on the top, which I might be doing. But then it's the same principle, take the PTFE tube out and let the filament just run all the way straight down. Some setup like this, it's um, it's questionable. Check out the Polymaker link in the description. This is a big printer and because of the Taylor Swift movements, <coughs> because of the quick movements, they also thought about it to put some rods on the backside of the printer so that the gantry keeps square on the Y axis. Very nice. A very thoughtful creality. I don't know where you saw it, but it was amazing. All the specs and details you will see right here on screen. Editing sec, please do that. It's one amazing printer. If I need to rate this 3D printer on a scale from one to 10, 10 is being great, one is being awful, then this 3D printer would hit eight. It's solid eight because well-designed, big volume, fast, and it's also simple. There are some little things like mentioned before, binding to Creality Cloud, the filament spool holder and also the <laughs> breaking off of the screen. There are some little things that I do like to see in a future version of this 3D printer. I think the high combo or the high plus combo to see some big improvements on it. But I think Creality will do that anyways because it's almost April. They are going to announce some new 3D printers. I didn't hear anything out of that. Uh, I don't know if they are actually going to do that, but no Creality. Somewhere in early April, they are going to do a live stream, a anniversary thing, and then they are going to announce several 3D printers that are going to hit the market in 2025. Check the link in the description. Some can be affiliate links to support this channel without you paying anything extra. If you do want to support this channel, it's allowed, there's a Patreon link, and you can also become a YouTube channel member, and your name will be mentioned in every video, and uh, you know, you get some special peaks, peer, peer peaks, peaks, you know, whatever, you get some, some extra things. But if you want to buy one of these, you can check the affiliate links in the description of the video. You can also buy them somewhere else. You are not obligated to buy them from the affiliate links or the links in the description. This 3D printer, I think it's amazing, and uh, let me know in the comments. What do you think about this 3D printer? The Creality and the 3... The Creality V3 Plus. Let's, uh, let's do a 3D printing nerd ending. If you made it this far in this video, you are amazing. Uh, hug each other more and high five.